Um, my name is Jim. I was raised in a Christian family. My dad uh, became a minister when I was 10 years old. I was raised in a church that there was a lot of things, had a lot of rules, things you did, things you didn't do, and things you shouldn't do. Early on in my childhood, my dad said, Jim, I want you to be an example to the kids in church. I tried very hard to do this. I tried to be an example to my friends. I tried to do the right things. I really tried to please my dad. In high school, I was in our youth group, very involved in a youth group at church. I also was in Youth for Christ in uh, the high school I went to. After high school, I went to a Bible college. I took Bible classes. In fact, they even took New Testament Greek, trying to please my dad. I did all the things that a Christian should do. I acted like a Christian. Unfortunately, I knew that I wasn't. I was living as a hypocrite. My girlfriend and I got married at age 19. We soon had three kids. I was a good dad. I was a good husband. We went to church every week. I did all the things that a Christian should do, although I knew that I wasn't a Christian and had tried so hard to be one. My marriage had been on the rocks for quite a while. I had tried to save my marriage, but after 35 years of marriage, my wife decided that she'd had enough of me. At age 55, my marriage ended. I was really tired of playing church. I didn't want to have anything to do with being a Christian. I was really somewhat angry with God. At this time in my life, I wasn't even professing to be a Christian. I was really tired of being a hypocrite, so I was nothing. A year later, I met a very wonderful lady. And six years later, we got married. Two years ago, Nancy and I started attending Calvary at the urging of friends in our RV park. Nancy and I started attending Alpha, and I started singing in the choir. Nancy and I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior, and on Easter, we were baptized. God had been waiting 77 years for me to give him control of my life, to let him lead me where I needed to go, to do what he wanted me to do. I'd always been afraid of letting God take control of me. If you're tired of playing church, if you're trying to act like a Christian, if you're tired of doing the things that you should do for the wrong reason, let God into your life. Let Him take control of your life. Let Him be the one who leads you.